So, Serenity's cutest couple is back on track. What I'm looking forward to is the morning I can wake up with you in my arms. Is something going on with you two that I should know about? When did you two become a pair of hovering Hannahs? How do you feel about them fighting over you? Excited. Oh, no! <laughs> Maddie, Dana Sue, and my sisters. You haven't even told me why you took your brother's car. You could have died. Tell me what you know about your birth parents. I just want to know whose eyes are staring back at me every single time I look in the mirror. When are you going to start taking responsibility for the habit that you wreak in people's lives? Ever talked to Annie about Ronnie? No, because I haven't even talked to Ronnie about Ronnie. <laughs> After wading through all of the hurt, I'm starting to see the hope. There's so much more to you than the game, more than you've ever realized. I am really glad that we get to spend more time together. Would you mind terribly if I kissed you right here? I cannot imagine going through this without having this. You never have to go through anything big or small on your own. Life will surprise you, and so will your ability to remember the sweetest moments. Pour it out. <laughs>How many of these episodes of this second season did you direct? I directed four of them, and I uh, produced all of them, and yep. worked worked mostly on on all of them in post production. You know, working with the editors, and that was kind of my my focus this year beyond the episodes that I directed. Was um, uh, we kind of divvy up the work amongst the producers, and so I focused a lot on the editing with the editors, which was. Uh, harkening back to my roots because I came from editorial. That was that's right. I really did, yeah. So I was a I was an editor for a long time before I was uh, <laughs> you know a director. So um, yeah, it it was fun. It was a, a good season and, and uh, went very smooth in spite of the COVID restrictions, and we were sure. able to get through it without a lot of um, without a lot of problems. So. How much of the show comes together in the production studio as opposed to maybe a film or something? Else? You know what I mean? Like, is it already just so set that like when you get to the production, it's really just picking some takes because it's kind of all set up or. Well, the, are... the writing is very strong. And so, you know, yeah. for the show is, is certainly there. And, you know, it's always about trying to find the balance and, and making sure that things are playing as you hope they do. And. And, uh, but yeah, I think that, uh, you know, we edit as we go along. So by the time we finish an episode, we're, we're already into the editing of it and trying to figure out. Oh, really? It out. Oh, okay. So we, we edit right behind the, the, the shooting of it. And then um, a lot of wow. time it's spent you know, dealing with the sound and the score and all of that after we get it cut together sure. for everybody. And it's a um, um, very busy time when we're shooting for sure. Are there a lot of deleted scenes in this season that didn't get used? So. Or for the no, most part? I, I think for the most part, maybe a couple, but not anything um, substantial. I think we cut out a lot less this season than we did in season one. I think, you know, we know the show. We know the characters. Yeah. So Cheryl Anderson, sure, sure. the showrunner, is very, very um, um, clear about the stories that she wants to tell. And, and um, uh, so it was... Uh, um, pretty clear what our structure was for each episode. And so I would say, no, there wasn't a lot cut out this year. We, we pretty much, what you see is what you get. So, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, some people may be disappointed in an odd way by that, just because they love the show and they like, the there idea should be more. Like, yes, yeah, yes. I, 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 of course. I mean, yeah. who doesn't uh, want to see, you know, extra things from something they love, right? Yeah. I, th th there's not much there on the cutting room floor this year, I don't think. So. You you equally disappointed and made some people happy. I think <laughs> at the same time with that answer, well. uh, right? <laughs> Which is fine. Um, so look, uh, let, let's discuss the culinary aspect of the show here because last time you here we we talked about that too of the first part because one of the main characters, an integral part of the show, she's a chef. She owns a mm -hmm. restaurant. I mean, yep. that's my background. That's a big part of our show, right? Talking food. So what? Um, what sort of like steps were taken this this uh, year 
to ensure sort of like a proper culinary environment? Was there anything done differently from the first season? Because remember, the first I told you how great it was. It was really done so well. And I have to say the second season, same thing. Well, really I like to think that we stepped it up a little bit this year. I think the quality of the food on the plate. Well, that's the, true. The, the yeah. styling of the plates is uh, definitely there was a big improvement this year. And sure. um, uh, I, that's a real tribute to our props department because they were all over it and uh, really did a wonderful job of making it feel uh, appetizing and and, uh, um, you know, uh, it made it feel like a restaurant you would like to go to. Yep. So uh, that was uh, definitely, um, um, in my mind, we we improved the quality of the restaurant. I'll put it that way. <laughs> Absolutely. I would agree uh, completely. Yeah. I, and I think that's that could easily be overlooked, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. And I'm glad you, do, you guys just don't do that. I'm glad. Well, you, you know, it's always difficult on a set because you're shooting all day long and you've got to have food that uh looks appetizing after eight hours of shooting you know it's it's, it's definitely it's a real Challenge. tribute to them it's a real tribute to the props department because they were back they were back there working all the time to make sure that everything looked really really as good as it possibly could and sometimes that requires multiple versions of a plate yeah. of food you know so it's that's a good um, point yeah that's a great point multiple yeah, yeah. versions of that dish yeah yeah, yeah. so uh you know depending on what we would tell them how long we thought a scene would take to 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 shoot you know would determine like just how much food they'd buy sometimes you know they might say you know well, we'll give you 12 cakes or yeah. uh, I know that in the fair sequence, you know, they were cook they were back there cooking pancakes the whole time, you know, just so that the <laughs> pancakes would look really fresh. All right. So what were what were some of the biggest struggles uh, making season two, both as a director and a producer? Well, COVID, I think, was the biggest struggle sure. because we were trying to keep a really safe set and uh, we had to be tested three times a week. Everybody on the show had to be tested at least three times a week, sometimes more. Oh, wow. And uh, we had to wear masks the whole time and uh, sometimes face shields. Like the first, the first part of the season, I was wearing masks and goggles, which yeah. is, it was a real encumbrance because um, on, on multiple levels, it's uncomfortable. Sure. It's just hard to, to spend a whole day, uh, particularly uh, during the summer, with uh, um, a mask and goggles on. But number two, you know, so much of what uh directing the actors is 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 facial expressions and shorthand you know they can they can read in my face whether i'm happy with something or not which is um was harder this year because you know having my face is covered so they're only seeing my eyes so they have no idea if i'm smiling or if i'm you know frowning or if i'm upset and i think that, oh, wow. was, the, that was the biggest struggle that we all faced was learning to kind of navigate these covid restrictions sure. and um uh, fortunately, we didn't have any problems where we had to shut down. So I was really grateful about that. So we we were able, once we started shooting, to shoot out our, our full season without any real problems. So that was good. Yeah. As a, as a producer, was there added things you having to do that as a director you wouldn't have had to do right are you even having to like coordinate some of that say, well of i'm not i'm or? personally we have a COVID team in place that was handling the um the the um safety regulations and um, oh, okay. I, I didn't have to do any of that so i was got it i'm very grateful to them that was a hard job they, they had a thankless sure. job making sure that everybody was wearing their mask and making sure that everybody was abiding by the regulations so that was definitely um, something that um, um, was a concern for the production overall, but was not something that I specifically had to contend with. So no, for sure, yeah. absolutely. D does that add to the budget, or does yeah? You know, or do they give you uh, yes. more? Uh, there was a whole with? new department that yes, it indeed added to the budget, and I think that every show that's yeah. shooting right now is, has that uh, that built in now that that. Um, um, built in for possible delays, possible sure. shutdowns. I think that, uh, that, yeah, it's a big part of the budget. Yeah. But uh, how much, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure. uh, really focused in on any of that as much as my, my role is much more kind of keeping focus on the creative side of things with, um, with our showrunner, Cheryl Anderson. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm.
Was there anything during the show that you guys didn't get to shoot that you wanted, maybe because of COVID or, or for whatever reasons? I don't think so. I think the only thing is it limited the number of big scenes we could do. It limited the number of extras we could have in a scene. Okay, it, yeah. It limited certain kinds of, um, when there were crowd scenes, it required a, more a time because we had to kind of allow for the, the testing that needed to be done and the, uh, uh, okay, really trying yeah. to make sure that everybody was um, ready and safe in order to go into the set. Uh, so it added to a lot of the bureau bureaucratic side of things, but uh, it didn't seem to interfere too. I feel like we got we got the show that we wanted to shoot, and uh, it, it all went very smoothly. So, yeah, that's all you want, right? At the yeah. end of the day, we yeah. shot from uh, early April until the middle of July, I think. I think that's right, and then uh, you know spent the last several months just kind of finessing the shows in post, getting ready for the premiere. And uh, Netflix, you know, as you know, drops everything uh, at once. And so yeah. they they do all the dubbing. They do all the languages for all over the world. And so all of that has to be done before they drop the show. So wow. that's why it took so long to get it up on the uh, stream streamer before, uh, you know, like after we finished. There's sure. there several months lag. I hope that we'll be back to it soon. I <laughs> hope they give us an official pickup soon so that we can start to plan for season three and so we can get... That's the big question that yeah. everybody wants to know, man, to be yeah, honest with well, you. Uh, I, I don't know yet, but yeah. I, I have high hopes that we have a season three coming. I can't imagine. I mean, it would just be ludicrous of Netflix not to. This this show creates such a conversation. It's not just a show that people like. It's what the show creates in the after watching it. You know, I can see it in the groups. I mean, we're talking thousands upon thousands of people so emotionally involved in the show. Well, I, I'm very impact. I'm very happy about that. I feel like it does seem to have hit a chord, and I do feel like that people are extremely excited about it. And I think. Yeah. It, I think it's because it speaks to values and it speaks to the way that people live their life as part of a community and how they live their life uh, in, in, as part of a family unit and friendships and how, how people are sustained by both their family and their friendships and, and the community at large. So I think it speaks to uh, uh, really important values at a really important period of time, you know, so I, I'm, um, I'm grateful to be a part of something that's putting a real positive spin on things out in a world that can be excessively negative. So. Oh, couldn't have said it better myself, yeah. Norman. That's, yeah, absolutely well said. Well, listen, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about this uh, episode of NCIS Hawaii, yeah. which is a new show that's out on CBS, yeah. okay. uh, which is one of the biggest shows in history. Well. Um, apparently. <laughs> um, so yeah, when we come back, we're going to actually watch the trailer for that new show, uh, not necessarily your episode, but just the trailer that yep, came sure. out for, you know, for that show. And then we'll jump into that. So we'll okay, be right back. Sure. All right. 